I just kind of want to keep growing and kind of do what feels good and keeping in mind not to chase the money, but to chase the passion and what you're into and everything else will fall in place. I started Good Day Since Candle Company about a year before the pandemic. I just got to this place of wanting freedom, financial freedom, freedom of time, and I stumbled upon candles. So I found out how they're like therapeutic and people use them and burn them for many different reasons. And I kind of jumped into that and just did a lot of research and development. At the time I was working at a school in DC and I decided to give out some free candles to some teachers and they loved them. And I was kind of like, okay, all right, maybe, you know, I'm, I'm on to something. And then but the school did a pop-up and I sold like a hundred candles in like two or three hours. I'm like, okay, wow, now we can really turn this side hustle into a business. I kind of feel like things happen for a reason. March 10th, 2022, I ended up being shot in DC. When something happens like that, it's like, oh, forget everything else. I'm going to follow what I want to do. And getting shot just made me sit down and realize, hey, you were already thinking about being an entrepreneur full time. And you know what? I could have not been here. Let me go ahead and follow my passion and my faith and take a calculated risk. Thank God, thank God, thank God. I really feel like I'm walking in my purpose now and everything is just natural. Keeping in mind I have to put in the work and still work at it every day, but I feel like I'm just kind of just going through the motions of life and just following my path. Kip really laid the foundation and it gave us a glimpse at an early age of what was to come, what to be expected, and sometimes when you think about just, you know, growing up black in America, things are different for us. The standards are higher. Kip gave us the foundation and exposure that would later get us ready for how real life was after high school and even after college to an extent. I want to be remembered just for being a good person. Somebody that was a man of integrity, that always spread love. I want to start a foundation where we can give a percentage of our proceeds back to youth in D.C. to develop a scholarship fund. And I just want my business to create an ecosystem that can pay people, hiring other people from my community. Those are the things that inspire me. I think sometimes when we say what we want, we kind of don't aim high enough. Like I'm going to the moon or past the moon or whatever is supposed to happen.